Number 10, Giant Eyeball. In 2012, in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, a man was going down the beach when he saw a rather large, perfectly round object. When he looked closer at the object, he realized that he was looking at a giant eyeball. This man took the eyeball home and put it into his refrigerator so that it could be preserved until the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission could come and get it. The eyeball was about the size of a softball, so the scientists were very intrigued to find out where it had come from. They were able to debunk rumors that it was some kind of monster eye, and instead found that it was from a swordfish. For the record, swordfish can grow to a long length and weigh up to 1,400 pounds. Scientists noticed distinct cut marks on the eye, which means that someone actually cut it out of the swordfish but how it went from being cut out to being washed up on the beach is a mystery. Number nine, orange creature. In Alaska in 2018, something totally incredible and shocking surfaced when some fishermen caught more than they expected. The waters of Alaska are known for carrying all sorts of creatures, but for the family of angler Sarah Vassar Alford, Things got very weird when they pulled up a creature that can honestly only be described as an alien. It was bright orange, had all sorts of wriggling tendrils, and looked like nothing they had ever seen before, making it a truly terrifying thing, as it was something out of this world. That fully explains why she took a video clip of the creature and posted it online for the world at large to see, and they did indeed go view it. Various people weighed in on what it was, and just as importantly, what it wasn't. It's since been identified as a basket star, a species of echidnoderm, similar to a sea star, aka starfish, that hangs out on the ocean floor using its spindly, spiderweb-like tentacles to ensnare passing prey. So it turns out it is a regular creature from Earth, though one that many likely won't want to meet up close. Sarah noted later on that she happily returned the creature to the sea after taking the video. Number 8. Lancet Fish Once upon a time, the Lancet Fish was a rare fish to encounter as fishermen could never reach them for one reason or another, and thus the only true ways to find them were if they were washed up on the shore after dying. But now, using long lines and various fishery techniques, Lancet fish are being caught more and more frequently. That is good for scientists as they want to know more about the lancet fish, but it's still a bit scary for fishermen because this fish is kind of freaky. What really makes the lancet fish so special though isn't its rarity, but that it lives in a part of the ocean where the light of the sun barely reaches at all, known as the midnight zone. There, the waters of the ocean are pitch black, meaning that fish either have to create their own light or use their other senses to get around. Despite all those handicaps, the ocean life of the area thrives and does much better than scientists can understand. As for why you haven't seen lancet fish in certain institutions, lancet fish are incredibly hard to keep alive in aquariums. So as a result, the fishermen who are lucky enough to catch them put them back into the ocean. What's the strangest fish you've ever caught? Or just one that you've seen in an aquarium? Let me know in the comments below. Then if you like this video but haven't subscribed to the biggest yet, fix that now. You'll want to stay subscribed for more awesome updates. Number seven, the fish and the snake. To say that fishermen catch weird things while they're on the waters is an understatement mainly because there's a lot that goes on out in the lakes and rivers and oceans of our world. The one thing you wouldn't expect to catch at all is a fusion of two creatures. Yet that's what happened in Houston when a man went and reeled in a catfish. That alone wouldn't be shocking or odd, except that the catfish was being devoured by a snake at the time of the catching. Chase McRae was the one who made the catch. And as you might expect, he was a bit stunned by what he was seeing, and it's not hard to see why that would be. I took the knife to get the snake off the fish and released the fish, McRae explained. The snake had a few wounds from the knife, but I released it as well. 
Catching a fish that had been attacked by a predator isn't that odd in the fishing world, especially in waters that have sharks and eels and even things like killer whales. But to catch a fish that was literally being eaten by a snake? You definitely don't see that every day. Number six, giant sea cockroach. Yes, this is a real story, though you could be forgiven for thinking otherwise. A journey from members of Singapore to the waters of Indonesia turned up a brand new species that is now known as the Bathynomus roxasa, but it's also called the giant sea cockroach. This massive isopod was unlike anything seen before and was even named after Darth Vader in terms of a nickname because of its look. The giant Bathynomus is a deep sea crustacean that can grow up to 20 inches in size, making it the second largest isopod species known to science. No doubt terrifying some of you at the mere thought of a near two foot long creature such as this. The giant sea cockroach goes to the bottom of the ocean it's a part of and lives on the floor. It then eats the dead remains of the animals it's encountering, though if necessary it is able to go for long periods of time without needing food. That has to show off its true power to survive. This was a huge discovery for the team as a whole, while also helping flesh out even more about the ecosystem of the Indian Ocean. But to others, it's a terrifying reminder that the ocean is filled with things that we're better off not knowing about. Number five, a grenade. There are many tales of grenades being found in odd places. That includes some being washed up on beaches, or being dug up out of the ground, or even being found lying around certain areas like in Russia, where some people are stupid enough to try and take selfies with them. Could you imagine doing that? How fearless would you have to be? But for one man in Indiana, a place where you wouldn't suspect to find a grenade of any kind in its waters, a grenade was an unexpected surprise. Specifically, it was found in the Little Calumet River in Gary, Indiana, and it was such a serious deal that the bomb squad had to go and be dispatched in order to handle the device. Thankfully, no one was harmed in the safe detonation of the device, which is the standard procedure in the case of bombs being found in odd places. But the question of how the bomb got there is very much a mystery, because it honestly doesn't make sense given the area. Should you or anyone you know find a grenade or mortar round or other explosive device, do not touch it. Rather, call the police. Number four, Mud Dweller Gobi. This particular fisherman tale is of a frightening mud dwelling creature from Australia. And it's one you won't forget because of how this creature looks and what legendary figure it resembles. Andrew Rose was fishing in the Northern Territory's Kakadu National Park when he snagged a six inch long worm goby, a rare mud dwelling fish with no eyes, a bony head and sharp teeth. It looked prehistoric, Rose told Guardian Australia. It looked like something you see in the movies. The lure wasn't swimming right. I pulled it and it had this strange looking fish on it. We didn't know what it was. We took photos, took him off the hook and put him back in the water. While, as noted, the creature in question was a worm goby, the angler, his friend, and many people who saw the creature online via the pictures had another notion. Mainly, that it was very much like the xenomorph from the legendary movie franchise Alien. That's all the imagery you need to have nightmares tonight, at least if you're scared of bizarre and terrifying monster aliens. All jokes aside, it is curious how it does look like it, and perhaps is a case of art imitating life. Or maybe life imitating art. It's hard to say. Number three, two-mouthed fish. Most of the fishes and other entities that many people have encountered in the wild recently can be explained with a clear mind. But sometimes a catch can't be explained unless you know some deep science. That's like when angler Debbie Geddes went and pulled a fish that quite literally had two mouths on it. To be clear, it wasn't a hoax, not this time. She posted about it online, and needless to say, people were very curious as to how such a fish could exist. Some said it was from an injury. Some thought it was because of pollution in the New York lake that it was caught in. Another possibility was that this was a birth defect, which has been documented to happen in various fish over the years. 
Either way, the fish was alive and healthy when Debbie caught it, and you can bet that she was quite surprised when it arrived on her hook, because no one would ever expect something like that to pop up out of the waters. And, ironically enough, that's not the only scary mutant fish to be pulled up out of the water. Number 2. One-Eyed Albino Shark A fisherman off of Baja, California, once caught what he called a one-eyed shark. The man took pictures of the shark and posted them online, but as you would expect, no one believed the evidence presented. But then, a few weeks after that, the man decided to take more pictures of the shark, which he kept, obviously, and suddenly people started to believe it because the shark had some clear signs of age on it. After some investigations by some real reporters, they found out it was a real one-eyed shark. But there's a reason it was this way, and it wasn't because it was a new species or a true monster. It all had to do with genetics. In this case, it was a deformed fetus from a caught pregnant bull shark. How the deformation and albino coloring occurred wasn't clear, but it was clear that it was real and rare. One expert said that 50 of these kinds of creatures have been documented. And this doesn't just happen to sharks, it can happen to other animals too, depending on various circumstances. It may not be the scariest thing out in the oceans, but you can bet this fisherman did a double take when he saw this shark on the end of his line. Come on, would you expect to find yourself looking at a one-eyed shark? Number 1. Northern Wolffish In Lake Krugo in Siberia, there were tales of a fish that was so massive and intimidating that they didn't want to even see this fish. It apparently had teeth that were like a piranha's, and face that was, to say it nicely, rather ugly. Attacks from this fish were well known in the area. And then finally, in 2017, a fisherman was not only able to catch this fish alive, but was able to get it on video to show just how strong and menacing the fish was. Once fully seen, it could finally be identified. It was a northern wolf fish. If you didn't know, the northern wolf fish is a species known to be in the Arctic waters of the world. And what's more, they are on the edge of extinction, thus why you've likely never heard of this fish until now. That's also why so many people weren't aware of this fish's existence. So while the legend may be solved, it's still a terrifying and ugly fish that you won't want to catch yourself. Thanks for watching. What did you think of these recent catches by fishermen that were scary in some way? Which ones are you personally glad you didn't catch? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time on The Biggest.